Okay, here I've zoomed in on some of the wires that we want to try to remove from the Carlton Bridge. And I'm just going to concentrate on one segment and look at a couple of different ways of using the two major choices for healing brush. So the first thing to do when you're working on these things is to create a blank layer to do your actual work on. So from we place a blank layer on top of the stack here. And then to make sure the changes we make here uh, include all the pixels below, we make, we make the sampling setting to be either current and below or all layers. And here I'll use current and below. Uh, that way we can work on this layer and yet be sampling from the active layers here. So I have the wires to get rid of and I'm going to just concentrate on one wire right here, a segment of it. Um, and going to the healing brush, we'll start with the healing brush tool. And we're going to experiment with different settings to see what works best. With the healing brush tool, you need to make a sample of an area that will be used to blend with the area we're actually trying to repair. It works very much like the cloning tool in this respect. So here, make the brush a little bigger. Here we're going to hit Alt, and that creates a, a target. We're going to use this as our starting point for our source. I click on that, and then it is, the, it is taken. And then we go down to the line. Now we could just paint along the line manually. And you can see that does a reasonable job, but it can be a little bit tedious to do all of that and uh, you don't need to do it. Now here we've made a change, uh, but to get rid of it and back up we can just hit Control alt z and it comes right back. And that's great, that's important as you go through and try these various uh, healing brushes and, and adjustments because you can do your experimentation and come right back to where you came from. Now, what you can do to get a, to deal with a line that's straight like this is actually click on one end and then go to the other end, centering it on the line, and hit shift click. And that automatically inscribes the whole line and makes a replacement. And that actually turns out to be a very nice uh, repair. Uh, it worked very well. but with the exception of this spot, a couple of spots here along the line where you can see that the wire actually bled through. So not perfect. Let's go back. Now on this one we used a normal setting and we can actually try using the other major setting that I use which is replace. Again inscribing on the line, going to the top, and that obviously doesn't work well at all. So the first one with normal seemed to work better. But let's try the other option under the healing brush, which is spot healing. Now in spot healing, you don't have to define a source uh, for, your, for your patch. It actually just looks on either side of the brush and uses that to blend in as you make your repair. And I find in general that seems to work better in these situations where I'm working with fairly uh, homogeneous, low detail backgrounds. Got a few different settings to choose from here. We have normal and replace again, but here we have the content aware and also proximity match. Again, we're sampling all layers. Let's try ox proximity match with the brush set at normal. And again, we'll use our shift click approach to get the whole line. Click first at the bottom and then click at the top. And again, we didn't have to define a source here draws the line. Again, there's a few little spots here. Sometimes you'll get these if you don't have the the uh, line inscribed perfectly over the uh, wire. But in general, I, f I think that the content aware setting here works better. Uh, again, content aware uses a different uh, protocol, different paradigm in order to sample pixels away from where you're where you're pasting in order to get a good blend. We'll keep the normal setting, click at the start, click at the other end, and I think that le leaves us with really our best result. Sometimes you'll have to go in here and make uh, corrections uh, where you can see some evidence of the repair being done. You can perhaps see it right here about a third of the way up. The nice thing about working with the uh, spot brush is that you can just go in and 
adjust it to, to make it look a little more random and not following the line. So that works very well. Uh, and it gives, and you can do this with all of these lines uh, and get a good repair. There are some difficulties when you start doing these sort of adjustments right next to an area of high contrast. If we look at this area right here next to the barn and I try to do the same setting, you can see that it picks up some of the darkness from the, from the side of the barn itself. You can try doing it in the other direction. Sometimes that'll work. And that actually didn't pick up the line at all. When you get to these difficult areas next to area of high contrasts, it's sometimes better just to go with the cloning tool and make your adjustments that way right next to it. Um, although at times, uh, another approach to this is to make a selection around the sky and separate that out and just work on the selection that doesn't have these areas of, of darkness and then you can do your cloning without difficulty. So that's the use of the healing brush in various ways. Uh, it gives you a good result. If you want to look at the changes that you made on this otherwise blank lev level or layer, you can turn off your pixels and you can see the changes that you made separately. Now before this I had actually done most of the cloning of, of all of these wires and you can see that effect here with this layer here. So you can see that able to get rid of them pretty well. So the cloning, cloning tool, content aware, oftentimes using the spot brush can work very well. The main thing is to experiment and keep your fingers on that Control-Alt-Z button. That's your savior. Thanks.